Do you go, ugh, every time you look at your daily to-do list? Well, in this week's episode, I'm going to show you how to make your to-do list much more inviting. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how to reduce your daily to-do list into a much more manageable number of tasks. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I have spent quite a lot of time over the last few weeks investigating how we can reduce that daily to-do list because I find that most of my clients that I'm working with, uh, that's one of their biggest problems, which is when they look at their today list, they just feel overwhelmed. And that's not what it's all about. What it should be about is, okay, let's get started. Bang, 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 bang. Day's finished. A fantastically productive day. You don't want to be going into your to-do list and going, oh, do I have to do this? Oh, I don't want to do this today. And then at the end of the day, you want to have to, you find you have to reschedule everything and it's just not a good place to be. So our to-do list needs to be inspiring, motivating and give us the energy to get through the day. And in this week's episode, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, before we go into Todoist though, if you do get any value from this video, I would be most appreciative if you would hit that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, oh, that would be a huge bonus if you could subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's go into Todoist now and I'll show you how to make your daily to-do list much more inviting. Okay, so for me and what I found with working with many of my clients is the biggest problem that we have is that our today list, even when there's only 10 items on the list, can look quite overwhelming when we start the day. Now, I've actually zoomed in a little bit here. If I zoom out, which is command minus, that's what you would normally see. And to be fair, if you go out minus, then what we have is it does fit in one window on a normal laptop screen. But on a mobile device, for example, this is going to be you're going to be scrolling even with 10 tasks. And that can feel sometimes quite overwhelming. I actually prefer it to zoom in a little bit because my eyesight is not that good. And also it helps you to see a little bit better the screen. So what we've got here is we've got a number of labels attached to these. We've got the individual person's name because they are uh, people that I work with closely and I want to check in as I mentioned in a recent episode with those people on a regular basis and Let's say I've just been away on a business trip for a week and I've come back and I need to check in with all my staff members throughout the day But as they are distributed all over the country or all over the world, this has to be done by calls I've got a, quite a few calls coming up and they're all in my today view but I also have a few other tasks in there as well so what we can do is we can narrow down the search but the thing is is that as I mentioned in previous episodes, is that chunking your tasks together is a great way to get rid of some of these tasks that you have to complete and chunking is let's just say that you've decided that between 11 30 and 12 this morning you're going to do your calls what we can do is we can go into the quick find I mean you can create a filter for this but we can go into the quick find type in today and at calls and what that's going to do is it's going to remove all the items that are not on my calls label that are due for today. So now what I can do is it's 11.30. I can pick up the phone. I can start off with Tom. I can say, OK, I've done Tom. I now speak to Peter. I've done Peter. I've now spoken to Derek and I've checked in with Sarah and I've checked in with Jasmine. All done. Now, now I, let's say now it's at um, it's 12, it's 11.55, I'm feeling very hungry, it's time for lunch. So I'm thinking, well, okay, I've removed quite a few of my tasks for today. I can call Jeff, maybe it's, it's a non-prioritized task. Maybe I want to do that for tomorrow. So I'm going to hit the calendar icon here and say, I'm going to schedule that one for tomorrow. It's not urgent, but I do need to call my mum about taking care of James and Nicola this weekend. So next weekend, so I'm just going to leave that one in because I can come back to that maybe later. But now when I go back to my today view, boom, everything's done. But what I've got left on here is I can just tap on the email 
and that's going to bring up all my email stuff to do. However, one of the things that I find people are doing is they're sending email over to their inbox just blindly without thinking about the number of tasks that they're sending. But if you actually set up a folder in your email program called Action Today, which is what I call it, and this is part of my email productivity course, uh, so I'm giving you a sneak peek if you like, what you can do, as I go back to my Today view here, and what you can do is I've got Process Action Today email folder. What that means is I can now go over to my email app, which I use Apple Mail, and I can just open up my Action Today folder and I can start hitting those emails. I can get those emails out. So actually, I find that that is a much better way of dealing with emails. So email does not go into my, into these, into Todoist, unless something like this one here, which is email Pippa about San Francisco trip next month. Pippa has not sent me an email, so I've got nothing in my Action Today folder. So I do need to create that, and that's why it would have the label email. So I can click on that. Uh, this one, urgent reply to Pete's email about stock levels. That might be something that I really needed to do. So I've added that one. But as it's a reply, I'm more likely to not do that one at all. That would actually be put into my email program and I would flag it. So I usually flag emails that are very, very urgent that need to be responded before, before lunchtime. Those things do get done like that. But for, for the large part, most of the time I don't have email in my Todoist because, except for things like this one, uh, because I really don't want to clutter up my today view. What I want to do is when I go into Todoist, I want to be excited about the work that I'm doing and I'm relying on natural triggers for some of the more mundane stuff that I have to do. And I do have, as I say, in my today view, which comes up towards the end of the day, which is a process action today email folder. And that comes up almost every single day. So there's a really good way of using labels to help you to chunk your tasks. It's been mentioned in the comments. And I must thank um, people for, for mentioning that in the comments of this. But you can chunk and you can chunk using your labels. It's a really good way of doing it. And it also means that you are focused in on that one task, making calls so you're in the right frame of mind and it really does help. Okay, hopefully that's given you guys some ideas about how you can use labels. I know it's a little bit linked to what we did last week, but what I really want to do is to help people to really get the most out of this amazing app. And you can use all sorts of tools to actually create some amazing workflows for yourself. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now, have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery Version 3 course has launched. Now, this course is transformative. It will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is gonna show you how to change that. It's gonna show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's gonna show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course. Have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.